So do we think differently? Okay. В других языках мы друг. Sorry, it's like a tongue twister. That's a, that's a brilliant question. The Wolfe hypothesis, as it's known, which is the idea that our language affects our thinking, has been debated for um, decades, even centuries. There's a, a growing amount of experimental evidence that differences across languages have an influence on the way speakers of those languages conceive of the world. We can see that different languages structure the world in different ways. They carve up uh, the various continua and different types of relations in the world. The way that different languages chop up the world almost can vary and that does actually influence how you see that world. I think language changes everything about the way you think. I go into a certain mindset, I, I sound deeper, I don't know why. I perceive situations differently, I react differently. I think I'm more grounded and more in touch with my emotions in German. Yeah, it makes me feel more assertive when I'm speaking Dutch because you kind of just get straight to the point. It's not just for talking, language is for organizing an otherwise messy world into identifiable categories. It gives us ready labels. It's like Lego. You add another word to the word and that makes it more precise. Language in French is super gendered, so everything has a masculine or feminine, and it just makes everything feel a bit more one or the other. If you have a word like bridge, if it's in a language where it is carrying a masculine gender, then bridges will be described by people slightly differently. So it might be its usefulness or its power might be more associated with the feminine gender, whereas its strength and its size might be more sort of associated with the masculine gender. The structure of a language forces us to attend to certain aspects of a language that are certain aspects of reality that are relevant for a language at the moment of using that language. It's known as the thinking for speaking hypothesis. There's evidence that language involves some kind of image simulation and that that has a consequence for how we perceive of certain events. Colour is quite a complex property of a visual world. Your brain's decoding colour in quite a complicated way. So you have many languages that have um, a term to denote both green and blue and typically we call this a GRU term. You find this in languages like um, the Himba, for example, in the Namibian Plains. In this experiment, we ask participants to look at the color tile, and then after 30 seconds, we show them the full array of colors. And we say, now pick the one that you just saw. And it's a very difficult task if you're an English speaker, but a Himba speaker can do it like child's play because that color is central to them. You simply cannot recognize colors that are not easily encoded in your native language. I think by virtue of being born into a particular culture and the language that goes with that culture, we are almost certainly given to think in a particular way. The human brain doesn't work out of the box. You grow up and you're growing up learning languages in particular environments, so you've got you know, by the time you're dealing with an adult, you're dealing with a brain that has been trained up to be an expert along a number of quite specific dimensions. There's actually another very, very good reason to learn a language, and that's simply to gain another perspective on the world. So you can actually say a lot more a lot quicker in Uzbek than you can in English, which is quite interesting. It used to be nomadic, which means that the language has to be a lot quicker because you're speaking to people while moving around and all this kind of stuff. But in a sense, language is culture, and culture is language. Speaking a different language is almost a kind of gateway into a completely different culture. And Cognitive diversity, I think, is at the core of um, human nature. It is probably, if you're looking for universals, diversity is probably the one true universal of humanity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon.